Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use Mixamo to bring in characters and models into your Unity game. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial that I upload to this channel, and with that in mind, let's get to work. So, the first question is, what is Mixamo? Mixamo is a place that you can actually download and customise models for free in Unity, or rather, bring them into Unity. So, to do all this, firstly, head to Mixamo.com, right here. Uh, you'll need to create an account, it's free, don't worry about that. Once you've signed up, once you've logged in, all you need to do is click on Browse Characters. So the first thing here is you'll be presented with loads of different characters that you want to bring into your game. So, by that standard, let's select this one right here. Occasionally you get this warning if you're dealing with other characters like I have been doing, and you just click use this character. So you'll have the traditional T-Pose. At this point, if you want to attach an animation, you click on animation at the top, and then select whatever animation you wish, and there is a lot to choose from. So let's just, for example, let's take this reaction animation, and there you go. So now it looks like this character is animating. Now the simplest way to get this into Unity is to click on download up here and this is where a lot of people do get confused, do get mixed up, simply because uh, basically it doesn't import the skins correctly. But if we click download and change the format to collada.dae right there with skin, 30 frames a second uh, or whatever you want it to be, keyframe reduction none and click on download. It'll wait just a second, and when it's finally done, it will start downloading a zip file. Now this zip file will contain a couple of things which we don't need all of it, but we do need one part of it. So if you open up that zip file, you need to take this textures folder. So if I go into this Mixamo folder, go into character one in this case, and drag and drop that textures into here. Okay, next all you need to do is head back to the Mixmo website, click download again, and then change the format to FBX for Unity and click on download. Once again it'll do the same, where it'll just quickly uh, do a download, and there we go. 4.8 meg that one. So you'll notice the name of the file is uh, the character name with an at and then the animation type. So you just drag that into the folder again. So this folder, character one, now contains textures and the character model with one animation attached. Now obviously you can do the same again if you wanted to um, have a different uh, animation. So for example, you could have walking. All you would need to do at this point is click on download and uh, FBX for Unity again. So you could choose any of these animations. So, I don't know, dancing for whatever reason. Download, FBX for Unity, and download again. Just keep in mind you don't need to do the textures because you already have the textures for this model within your folder. It's some insane dance moves. So once again, you just drag and drop that into your character model folder right there. So let's go through this process again to change our character. So let's go characters. Let's go this guy right here. So this would be used for some like survival horror, I guess. Yeah, now that does look kind of cool. Uh, so we've got our character model. Let's take our animation. Let's have, gosh, I don't know, stand up. Just give it that effect. So there we go, standing up. So, because it's a new model, you would click download, change to .dae, download again, and I'm going to quickly change my folder to character2. So, yep, same again, it'll only take just a couple of seconds, um, I'm not going to teach you how to suck eggs and how to download things now. Um, so yeah, same principle, you just got to remember that order. Download .dae to take the textures. So drag and drop, and then download the actual FBX for Unity, which is right there. So there is something else that I want to add to this uh, tutorial, because 
it is kind of important and it's very dependent on how you use animations or how you intend to use animations. Uh, in a couple of minutes time we'll head into Unity and do a little bit more with what we've done here. But again, same as we did before, drag and drop into your folder. Let's do a third character. This one, uh, let's take, gosh, I don't know, uh, this guy right here. And okay, there's our character model. Animations. And let's take um, let's take a walking animation. I'd like a walking animation because that's the easiest way. Uh, instead of scrolling down, let's type in walk at the top in the search bar. And let's take that walking animation. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do this one. So you'll notice the animation itself here has him walking off. If you're intending to use something like transform.translate um, or move towards or whatever to animate um, someone walking in this case, you will need to click in place right here. And all that will do is make the animation walk on the spot rather than walk forward in a 3D environment. If you tried doing that, it would give a stuttering effect if you didn't tick in place. So once again, download .dae, download, let it do what it needs to do. Again, waiting around, shouldn't take too long. So yeah, you just need to make sure you do tick in place because a lot of people do use um, scripting to actually move characters or do whatever, or even a nav mesh, uh, but you still want the animation to occur. So if you're using a nav mesh, just make sure you tick in place. Epix for Unity, download. Okay, so when this is downloaded, uh, we'll head into Unity. So I've done three characters here. You can have as many animations as you want, whatever characters you want, but you don't necessarily have to keep this skin. You could modify the textures you get themselves. So there we have three different characters. Now, if I go into Unity, I already have a folder set up for Mixamo. So it's just a case of dragging and dropping those into your project. And you may get an error message asking you about... Uh, normal maps, which I'm hoping does pop up now. Any moment now, we should get it. Now we go, just click fix now. All that will do is just set whatever normal map as a texture as a normal map. So let's go into character one and let's bring in our first character. And rotate by 180 and let's increase the size just a little bit. There we go. Let's bring in our second character the cop zombie, so he's going to kind of stand up at some point. So all this bit is just manipulating the models themselves. This isn't really anything to do with Mixamo per se. Uh, this is all down to you. 1.5, 1.5. Now, if I press play now, you'll notice that these are frozen. They're frozen in time. Come on, Unity, sometime today. There we go. So they are frozen completely, although we do have animations attached. So because uh, we're going to use the animator component, because we can have multiple animations, what you can do is go into each of these. So you click the little arrow there, take that um, animation file, whichever one. So we'll, we'll do this reaction one. Hold control, press D to duplicate. Uh, I'll take loop time there to keep it looped. And let's drag and drop it onto the animator within this right here. So if we click on animator, drag and drop, reaction, and there we go. So we can see reaction is right there in the animator. So if we press play now, we should see Arissa doing her animation. Once we load up, there we go. So then the same again for all the others. So the idea of what we've done here is we've just taken these files from Mixamo and now we have the opportunity to manipulate them further than what we could do previously on the website. So let's add stand up to uh, cop zombie. And I must also state that these animations don't necessarily have to be attached to, uh, for example, this cop zombie, even though we had downloaded it with the zombie. We could actually attach that standoff animation to our guy right here, this Vanguard guy, if we wanted to. 
because these animations are static. They, they manipulate the same way in every single model. So finally, let's take this one, put him on the Vanguard guy. So when he walks, he will be walking on the spot. And like I say, that's where you then use nav mesh or uh, transform.translate or move towards or something like that to actually make that movement via C sharp scripting. So let's take a look what these models look like with their animations. Hopefully should be okay. There we go. And there's our cop zombie getting up. Perfect. So as I said, there's a lot more you could theoretically do with these. You could take the textures that you have here and modify them in any way you wanted to. There's no, you know, get right or wrong in all this uh, if you wanted some variation. But yes, ultimately, that is how you download Mixamo models with the skins into Unity and have them fully working. I hope that's helped. I know there's been a lot of requests for that uh, tutorial because uh, a lot of people do import them and get confused when it's just white or gray textures on their models, but that's how you do it. So guys, thank you very much for watching.